In the previous example, we used the hole command to place a hole on a flat face. In this example, we're gonna place a hole on the cylindrical face of this part. And that's fairly easy to do. So from our create menu, I'm gonna select the hole command. And there are some choices we can make for placing this hole on the cylinder. There's something on the circle called quadrant points and those represent the 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360 marks. Um, also, they correspond to the front, right, back, and left sides. So depending on where I place my mouse, that the, the closest quadrant point is what's going to be selected. So in this case, if I were to click, I'm gonna get the front quadrant. I'll go ahead and I'll click and you can see the hole is placed there. If we look at it from the top, you can see that hole is running right down the axis of the part, which is what we want. We can use our manipulator to move this hole up and down. Um, we can also grab this manipulator and set the angle of the hole. For now, we'll just leave it at zero. And if we want to offset this hole from an edge of a certain amount, just go ahead and click on that dot and select a reference face. And now in this case, I will say 3.5 inches. So now we've got that hole located and maybe I'll want to take this hole and drag it 45 degrees. So we'll just wait over here. You see the 45 degrees shows up on our center angle. You could also key that in there if you want to. And um, normal dialogue for holes, we can change the, the diameter of the hole, the tip angle, um, the extents. Right now we're going all the way through. So I'll just go ahead and accept these values and hit OK. And there you can see how quickly we can place a hole at an angle to the face of a cylindrical object in Fusion 360.